Welcome to Peacock fans to another episode of Peacock's on the Prowl. I'm Jim Lowry and sitting with me today is head coach of the women's volleyball team, Aaron Nelson. Coach, nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. All right, coach. This weekend you went to Sioux Falls in southwest Minnesota State. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a little rough weekend for us. Um, you know, tough road trip to finish out uh, the season. Sioux Falls had come in playing a little bit better than they had when we'd seen them uh, early in the season. Um, you know, when we took them to five, we, we beat them in five at our, at our place uh, in, a, in a tough fought match. Uh, started off a little slow on Friday, but we're able to uh, kind of turn around second set, had a good second set, so went in at the break feeling pretty good. Um, came out, played a, a decent third set again, but just, you know, it, the whole night we, we just kind of had too many errors and, and couldn't get that under control. Um, Sioux Falls came, came out and played a, a better four set, and then, you know, once they forced a fifth, uh, it was, you know, when you get to a fifth, anything can happen. And, you know, we played pretty well. We hit 400 in that last set with 10 kills and just had, uh, you know, a couple things not go our way. And, and uh, the end, end result was a 15-13 win on their side in a match that, you know, meant a lot to us. And, um, you know, I could tell they, they, it meant a lot to them as well, uh, even though they, they, aren't, they weren't part of that playoff mix at the time. Um, you know, we really... We really had to scrape and scratch and, you know, and didn't play our best match, but, uh, you know, it was a good battle one way or another. And I, I like the way the girls, uh, you know, really scraped and fought hard on a night where we weren't playing our best. So, and then on Saturday, um, you know, Southwest was, is, is in the midst of, uh, you know, working on a conference title and, and um, you know, they played a really solid match and just kind of, you know, their offense overwhelmed us a little bit. Um, especially early and uh, we battled and fought well and there were some, some things that we did well uh, but we weren't able to sustain anything long enough to, to put a lot of pressure on them um, you know at more than halfway through each each set so we played well for part of sets but weren't able to sustain it and they kind of you know just kind of took it to us that day um, but we battled hard again and, and, and it had some highlights there um, but just weren't able to do enough on that day and they you know they, they did what they needed to do um, you know, put us in a, in a kind of a tough spot here for the weekend, but, um, you know, for the playoff race when it comes to that. But really, uh, you know, we're, we're just looking to try and finish strong and, and, and uh, uh, play these two teams that we have coming up tough. All right, Coach, going into our final weekend here, you get to end the, the season at home, which is always nice. On Friday, you'll have Wayne State College coming in. Why don't you tell us what you're expecting out of that match? Yeah, I mean, Wayne, Wayne is always tough there. Uh, they've been a top five team all season, and, um, you know they're they're a little bit like us in that they're not the you know the, not the biggest team but they do a good job of of playing they're you know the, one of the top defensive teams in the conference and in the country um, they really don't make a ton of errors and and you have to play a little cleaner game against them so uh, you know they they kind of played one of their better matches uh, of the year when we played them at their place early in September um, but we're looking to to kind of turn that around and and have a good battle with them on Friday and and see if we can steal one from them uh, here at home and, and, and get ourselves started off the weekend on a good start. All right, Coach, and then Saturday, last match of the year is against Augustana, also in Dorman Gymnasium. Is that one going to be a little bit bittersweet, you think? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's the, the last match of the year for six of the seniors that are graduating this year, and, and these are kids that have been around with uh, me for, for my whole time. And, um, you know, it was my first first full recruiting class, so, you know, it'll be a little bit bittersweet, but. I think you know that night we're playing uh, we're playing Augustana who we played tough at their place early in the season had uh, leads in the first and second set against them but just weren't able to close them out. Um, you know they're they're also in the midst of that playoff run in in you know sixth or seventh place they're tied I think tied for for sixth. Um, you know so it, it's going to mean a lot for them but you know depending on how Friday goes it could it could be uh, you know in or out for us as well depending on you know what happens with the rest of the conference so. Um, you know, it'll be a good atmosphere, I think, with, with football home that day. And, and, you know, hopefully we get a big crowd here for that afternoon match against Doggy to finish up the year. And there you have it, Peacock fans. Peacock Women's Volleyball back in Dorman Gymnasium this weekend. They'll have Wayne State College on Friday. And on Saturday, they'll be hosting August Hanna. Saturday's game is also senior night. So come on out and support your senior women's volleyball players. Until next time, Peacock fans, I'm Jim Lowry. Thanks for watching.